Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Predictor. In this session we are going to discuss regarding CPS history, aims and objectives, affiliation, list of courses, fee structure, MCI recognized branches and so on. Therefore we request you to stay with us till the end. As most of you might not be aware that CPS is one of the oldest postgraduate medical education institutes in India empowered to confer qualifications such as and diplomas and FCPS by Indian medical degree. Whereas if we go to history, College of Physician and Surgeon of Mumbai is an examining body established in 1912. CPS is an autonomous body governed constitutionally by elected 24 members and these 24 members are basically from faculties of different uh, specialities with strong democratic traditions. What are their aims and objectives? Promoting speciality based medical practices to arrange postgraduate medical training research and advance in the medical profession to strengthen the healthcare system in rural and peripheral area by making specialists available where MD, MS, DM, DCH are not available. CPS institutions and their affiliations. More than 125 accredited medical institutions, including government colleges corporation medical institutions, medical colleges under deemed universities are recognized by UGC and more than 20 institutions on similar grounds have been affiliated to CPS from Gujarat to conduct CPS PG training program. Government of Maharashtra has initiated that they would be conducting centralized admission process of CPS, FCPS affiliated to CPS Mumbai for the academic year 2021-22. List of postgraduate courses conducted by CPS. There are two types of courses. One is fellowship, which comprises of three years. The other is diploma, which comprises of two years. Fellowship courses are FCPS in medicine, surgery, midwifery and gynecology, ophthalmology, child health, dermatology, ENT, orthopedic, anesthesia and pathology. Diploma courses are Diploma in Ophthalmic uh, Medicine and Surgery, Gynecology and Obstetric, Child Health, Pathology and Bacteriology, Dermatology and Virology, Anesthesia, ENT, Orthopedic, Psychological Medicine, Medical Radiology and Electrology, Tuberculosis Diseases, Transfusion Medicine, Tropical Medicine and Health. So these are the listed branches under FCPS and Diploma. Fee Structure Let me elaborate how the fee structure is divided under Diploma and Fellowship. Let's begin with Diploma. There are three types of fee structure. CPS Government Fee Structure, Merit Fee Structure and Institutional Quota Fee Structure. CPS government fee structure is 85,000 per annum whereas uh, merit fee structure is 6 lakh per annum and institutional fees is 12 lakh per annum. Common with all the branches except diploma in medical uh, radiology and electrology that is DMRE here the institutional fees is 18 lakh per annum. Whereas in fellowship the fees is little high compared to diploma as the duration is of 3 years. The government fees is 95,000, the merit fees is 7 lakh per annum and the institutional fees is 14 lakh per annum excluding two branches that is medicine and dermatology. As the institutional fees for medicine and dermatology is 21 lakh per annum. There would be additional fees uh, charges as well apart from CPS and FCPS fees. It would be around 1,15,000 approx. Non-eligible candidates. Those candidates who are not uh, who are not appeared for NEET PG 2021 examination. Candidates who has not completed internship or on before 30th uh, September 2021. 
candidate registered for any CPS diploma fellowship PG courses and has completed the CPS courses or has not cleared the said examinations are not eligible for CPS admission. MCA recognized courses for CPS and FCPS. CPS under CPS Diploma in Gynecology, Diploma in Child Health and Diploma in Pathology and Bacteriology are MCI recognized branches. FCPS Medicine, Dermatology, Gynecology, Surgery, Pathology, Ophthalmology and Child Health are the seven branches under FCPS which is MCI recognized. FAQ these are the questions often asked. What is CPS and FCPS? Firstly, CPS and FCPS are different. CPS is a two-year course, whereas FCPS is a three-year fellowship, which is equivalent to MD, MS, DNB and Diploma. The second question which is frequently asked. Can we go for DNB after CPS or FCPS? Yes, you can. Complete your course from MCI or N NMC recognized branches and appear for PDCET. Clear your PDCET and join directly in the second year of particular subject. The third question. Is there any difference in private practice between CPS, FCPS, MD, MS, DNB? No. As per private practice point of view, each degree are same. All depends upon your skill and hard work. Question number four. Would it be possible to practice anywhere in India? Yes, it is possible. If you have completed your course, from MCI or N NMC recognized uh, recognized branch, then you can practice anywhere in India. Thank you. Don't forget.